Welcome to an AMI Stacks S3 Titanium deployment for Magento 245P1 open source with RDS on AWS. We will start by getting the usage instructions from AWS Marketplace. You can use our main site or directly from Amazon AWS Marketplace. Copying the usage information to a text editor is suggested for easy reference. Make sure you review the listing terms, pricing, and ask all questions before you deploy. The CloudFormation template will allow you to select various options for deployment. We suggest you install the CloudWatch agent. Note, instance sizes and HTTP services can be changed post-deployment, and we recommend the default settings. It is suggested you enable termination protection on the deployment script. Otherwise, your entire deployment could be accidentally deleted. Wait for initialization to complete, and take the time to name your instance, and get the IP address. It is very important to wait the full 30 minutes for deployment. Otherwise, you will run into EC2 errors. Here we added our public Elastic IP address to the usage instructions we saved earlier on Notepad. Make sure port 8080 is open, and accept the certificate warning. You will see the HTML usage instructions, and we will also confirm the main application. In our demo, we use WinSCP to connect to our EC2. Database connection information is found in the Magento ENV.php config file. Planning your DNS is very important. In our demo, we are using Cloudflare, and will create a DNS, A, record, and a C name that maps to AWS S3. At this point, we will change the Magento store URLs. After you change your URLs, it is highly suggested you take a backup. You can instant backup both the EC2 and RDS from A51. Important! We are updating the OS in our demo only because we selected Starflare as our catalog search engine. If you selected Elasticsearch, updating the OS may break your deployment. We are making a quick update to Apache, Postfix, and our hostname file so DNS matches Cloudflare. Our OS update broke our server, and we wanted to show tools you can use to troubleshoot. Apache won't start, so upon review we noticed a segmentation fault error. Should you require technical assistance, please make use of our Q&A bot accessible from the A51 dashboard and main website. Magento may encounter admin panel 404s. To address this error, we will configure a few items to resolve. On Cloudflare we will create a bypass cache rule, and will reset the Magento legacy URL paths. We will also recompile Magento. Register for A51, and access the main dashboard to see your newly deployed instance. Note, new accounts must wait 24 to 48 hours prior to registration. Module configuration information can be found in your Stacks documentation, our bot, and on the main site. We are configuring S3R Alpha with IME keys and a custom S3 media path. For new deployments you can enable static. For migrations you will want to test S3 first without static. For Magento migrations, resize can take several hours, and will depend on the size of your image catalog. After resize completes, we will sync to our S3 bucket. Last, we will sync static. All modules have a command help menu.
After sync, we will verify the main site. Notice the speed improvement. The image URLs should be pointing to the S3 path. Before we run a speed test, we wanted to enable autocomplete and tweak Ramjet and S3R Alpha. We will also run Ramjet Boost to gain maximum speed. Post Ramjet Boost, load times are almost instantaneous, autocomplete is working, and we are ready for our speed test on GT Metrics. This server is in North Virginia, and the speed test runs from Vancouver, Canada. Wow! Not bad for out-of-the-box deployment.